Hey guys, it's Cryptomio Analysis coming at you with an update video on Dogel on Mars, Doggle on Mars. So the reason why I say Dogel on Mars and Doggle on Mars is because uh, some people say that it's Dogel on Mars and then some people are like, oh no, it's Doggle on Mars. So I'm just accommodating to both tomato tomato people. So anyway, um, let's get right into it. We're still at resistance. I mean, it is pretty exciting, right? When your coin goes up, just be smart, play it smart. Don't get super excited and throw your money in and then get trapped, right? Because look, the stock RSI is um, bullish right now. The uh, RSI came up, but let's kind of like see where it's at, right? So price here um, relative to where it was here. So we are we, we did make a, a, a lower low, right? But on the macro perspective, um, we are still making kind of higher highs, right? Uh, that's why I don't like doing it like when it's in the middle because the thing is at any moment, this could this could stay here, right? And then this could just like make a higher high and extremely go and like pump in the green, right? And then we're obviously gonna make a higher high and we made a uh, higher low, right? So uh, I don't wanna like, I don't wanna actually use this, you know, this area as comparison because I don't think it's valid and I don't like doing that. Um, but anyway, let's look at let's look at where it's headed. So short term, uh, short term, we have a little bit ways to go and the next area of resistance on the short term is gonna be 23.80, which I think does, no, it doesn't coincide with. Um, yeah, so we're still at resistance and macro perspective, it's a 382 at 33. It's always been 33. So uh, I really do think we are gonna get something like this though, where uh, uh, where look, we literally, last time this happened, right? It came up and it was bullish, right? So it peaked here and this uh, the stock RSI reset, but we still went up while the RSI was going down. So that was really, really, really bullish, right? Uh, so if we got something like that, then most likely we are gonna probably hit between the 0.5 and a 618. And it, it might even be for a day or two before we come back down. So just keep that in mind. Um, I do think that when you do get pumps like this, it is a shakeout. So basically like imagine if like you you have imagine if I have like I'm I'm a millionaire and I'm like oh okay like I just bought do, do, dog on Mars. So what I do is what I would do is like okay well I'm going to buy a million dollars at these prices it's going to pump the price price action is going to go crazy like it did here people are going to sell and then most likely it's going to come all the way back down but it shook a lot of people out like a lot of people took profits a lot of people got out they're like oh we're well, we're done with this we're done with this and oh, Doge on Mars sucks because it, it, it was a pump and dump. But really like the next move is gonna be explosive and it's and those people aren't gonna have the coins to sell. Um, so I always think about that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's always possible too. Um, but anyway, uh, the next target up is going to be 33. Once we break over 33, it's gonna land anywhere between, point, uh, between uh, five and 74. Uh, so that would be around a uh, 150 to 265 percent even if it's for a day or two um, but if we get something like that then you you make a higher high consolidate even if it takes the next three months to bleed out we are still maintaining uh, an uptrend and then we'll probably get a god candle at the end right so what i buy dog on mars right now i actually still didn't <laughs> for people who have been like following my channel i still need 7.6 billion but i refuse to buy it until it gets oversold like even if the price is higher and the and the price gets oversold, I'm still gonna buy it because your dollar cost is averaging down. Don't be impatient. Don't do anything stupid and buy on the way up, right? Because most like because we are still technically bearish. We're not over the um, we're not over the uh, two three six yet. So you could still come and tag short term. 
you could still come and tag the um, 382 and then fall back down, right? Uh, that's what I got. I mean, it, it sounds like I'm bearish, right? But you should always think it's bearish because that way when it goes up, you're like, oh great, I'm, I'm, I'm in the green now, I'm, I'm, or I'm, I'm making money. Um, and you're not just throwing your money away. Uh, areas of resistance, let me find some hopium because I always take my high from low. We're still over 1937, uh, 1973, sorry, uh, transposition. Uh, 618 support held, you could see right here clearly it held. Um, and then we bounced over. Uh, we are over the 0.5 resistance, so the next area is going to be the two, uh, 2350, which does coincide with the 382 from the high to this low, this high to this low. Uh, so I do think that we are going to get a candle above that. How high it's going to go, I don't know. And I mean, I, I don't know if I'm right or not, but I've seen this enough to kind of see that, okay, yeah, we can still come up to 2.3 and then still be bearish and still maintain this uh, uh, this channel, right? So, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I got for you guys. Um, I'm sorry it's not more bullish, but th like, look, there's nothing bullish until we get over uh, 2051. And right now we are not even over 2051. So uh, I do think we are gonna either get, either hit the 2350 and then consolidate or we're just going to blast out of here or we're just going to go sideways right that's all that, that's all we can kind of assume uh, hopefully bitcoin doesn't break down and it actually pumps here because that'll be really good for Do doge on mars uh, if bitcoin pumps here then expect the price to hit that 0.5 and 786 uh, 618 retracement so that that will put it at 5 to 740 so just fyi let's look at the uh ether scan uh, holders see if Binance peg has any more wallet nope uh, they did not add anything crypto.com six and five wallet still the number one holder they have they are loaded up on Doge Lawn Morris they really believe in it uh, for for an exchange <clears throat> to have this much coins for an exchange have staple stadium you know the state the basketball stadium that they turn into crypto.com stadium arena uh, this has money written all over it, like low gem market cap, you know, $112 million. Uh, this is just a no brainer in my opinion. It, it is, it is trying to shake people out. I'm not being shaken out. Um, people that are calling for scam probably bought it at the wrong time, but like guys, like even if you bought here and we're going to make a video in about like a year from now, anywhere between now and a year from now. And I'm going to say this again, but like as, as crappy as that sounds, like if people that are bought that bought here. If they had just held, and I know that's dumb because like, who would who would actually do that? Um, they would probably get, like they would most likely get their money back because it would it would it would obviously make a giant U and go back up. So it would they would have to hold for three four years, but and that sucks, right? But on like, technically you could get your money back, and just keep in mind that I like I bought a couple billion when it was like at. Uh, what was it like a thousand dollars? So I actually bought here. I wish I could show you guys um, on Gemini. That way you guys can see that I'm not uh, I'm not lying because Gemini actually does show like the uh, transactions and your average buy or whatever. And literally, I spent like a thousand dollars for a billion, and then I spent like uh, it was like five hundred bucks or something for a billion because I think it dropped down to fives or something. Yeah, here. And then I'm like, oh crap. And then my portfolio went absolutely to zero. But you know what? It's okay because I did dollar cost average down. So, you know, words of wisdom and, and I hope like, you know, I hope you guys are, are happy because we are going up and I hope you guys are have a clear head. You guys aren't buying the green candles. You guys are buying the red candles. Uh, I am kind of pissed, not pissed. I'm kind of annoyed that uh, oops, that I, I didn't get to pick up my 7.6 billion when it got over when it was near oversold, but that's just the name of the game. Like that's the risk I take when I don't buy when it's extremely oversold. Um, it barely touched it, and I waited, and now it's going back up. Uh, but again, who knows? We might reverse back down here, 
and then for people that bought here if that actually does happen that's when you get people that like message oh it's a scam it's a scam blah 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 so we don't want that we want to get it for as cheap as possible uh and uh yeah uh hang on to your hats because it looks like we're about to it looks like we're about to go up uh let me look at the website and and then we can we can call it a video uh yeah, so nothing, still nothing exciting. I googled Dogalon Mars news. Uh, there isn't any sort of news or update regarding Rufus Chain. So once there is, obviously I'll make a video about it. Um, but anyway, I hope everyone's uh, everyone's day is gonna go good. Happy Friday. Uh, Dogalon Mars is about to be bullish. Keep a level head and uh, reap the rewards. Um, we're making higher highs and higher lows. Uh, that's what happens in a bull run. So. Uh, Congratulations in advance, whatever happens in this next week or two, if not like in the next hour, uh, because again, I do think that we are going to hit the 0.5 or the 618 retracement. Now, do I think we're going to stay up there? No, I think that people are going to sell and we're going to come back down. But am I going to sell? Nope, because it just takes that one time for you to sell and then the price basically goes up and makes an all-time high. And I refuse. I, I, I do think this is going to hit between uh like five to ten billion so like what's the point of selling right if i think that it's going to hit five to ten billion and we're already up like we're, we're still up from these lows so anyway uh please like subscribe comment don't forget you can now become a member of the channel to help support my channel uh if not you could just like and subscribe and comment that also works uh so thank you so much and i'll catch you guys in the next video